Hey everyone, Sony's phones always stand out, and their newest flagship, the Xperia 5, is no different. However, aside from its compact form factor, what makes it unique? I'm Angie for GSM Marina, and here are some of the key features of the Sony Xperia 5. Design this is pretty much the compact version of the Xperia 1, and it looks every bit as elegant as its larger sibling. Perhaps even more so with the camera array tucked in the corner instead of being centrally placed. The phone is incredibly narrow thanks to the 21 by 9 aspect ratio display, but it has plenty of heft. The buttons are nice and clicky, and the form factor makes the phone pretty easy to navigate with one hand. There may be too much bezel for some people, but at least there is no notch cutting into the screen. Cinematic screen Speaking of which, the 6.1-inch screen has a Full HD resolution instead of 4K, but at this size, that should still make for great sharpness. Colors look good, but it remains to be seen how accurate they actually are. Durability The phone has IP68 dust and water protection as well as Gorilla Glass 6. While it's not indestructible, it should be pretty hardy in daily use. Expandable storage the Xperia 5 comes with 128GB of base storage and a card slot that supports up to 1TB. Flagship chipset This is one of the few compact phones out there with the Snapdragon 855 chipset, so the phone should be pretty speedy. Minimal UI Like all Sony phones, the Xperia 5 features Android Pie with a very clean UI. So this, in combination with the flagship chipset, should guarantee a speedy user experience. Triple Camera Setup The Xperia 5 has a triple camera setup. There's a 12 megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization, a 12 megapixel ultra wide snapper, and 12 megapixel telephoto cam. Considering how well the Xperia 1 did, we're expecting some pretty great shots from the Xperia 5. The Xperia 5 seems just like its bigger brother, the Xperia 1, but in a smaller form factor. However, compact phones often get jilted in terms of features. In this case, there's a smaller battery which makes sense because there are space constraints. We did notice that the difference in battery capacity is smaller than the screen adjustment, so the actual endurance might be lower, but that remains to be seen. Naturally, we'll put this all to the test, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and we'll try to get to them in the full review. Subscribe so you don't miss it, and I'll see you guys next time.